and Schroeder and others. And uh, Salem, on the other end, had to win the loser's qualifier to get to this point. And he was the one who beat Esam to have the positive record, but going down to... Who did he go down to again? <laughs> For... Um, in the winner's side, my apologies, I forgot. But between Salem and, and Esam? No, it or was uh, whoever was on the winner's side before. Oh, for, uh, I'm not sure. Was it Void? I don't know. Yeah. No, it oh. was not Void. I, I don't know. We'll figure it out afterwards. But right now we have MVG Salem versus Amadeus going into game one here with the Snake Ditto on PS2. Noel Talentino 84? Come on, bruh. Yo, come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Appreciate it so much. We take that five dollars. We appreciate that. Going to these donations again. We got a long one incoming for you. Very explosive set by every means necessary. We've seen at recent pound three snakes in top eight, and uh, also one at ninth in Pelka, who just barely missed the top eight cut, but he had to play two snake dittos to try and get there. And both Ally and East uh, and Salem. Yeah, Snake definitely a very uh, prominent character in this current meta. Um, you can attribute that to a lot of experience with uh, players who have been playing Brawl for a long time and also as well as a lot of players not having experience. Mm -hmm. Maybe their only game was Smash 4 yep. where the game, the character was not present. But you can see the matchup knowledge already in Salem there. He, as Amadeus went for that dare on the Nikita, he knew he had quite a bit of end lag potentially coming down. Automatically going up to get that up there and taking that first shot. Something Amadeus likes to do compared to some of these other uh, snakes as well. I don't know if he does it so much in the snake ditto, but he likes to go for uh, the sleeping bag back air off stage because he knows that people are not really expecting it too much. So he's a little bit more of an edge guarder by comparison. Every snake plays a lot different. That pressure though from Salem just baiting out that option eventually to get that hit. All right, Salem approaching on Amadeus here. Nikita coming out and catching the recovery from Amadeus. He's not going to be able to survive that explosion into the wall. And yeah, this empty hopping back, knowing that Salem was gonna land on top of him. That stack gonna force him off stage as well. What, could he potentially close this out? Going for the high Cypher recovery, I like it. Trying to throw off Salem, potentially thinking that he wasn't gonna go after him. All right, Amadeus setting up these traps by the ledge, trying to prevent any sort of uh, overarching approach from Salem with his platform. And he's doing a really good job right now. He's got the C4 to protect himself as well. Nikita coming out a lot. Yeah, both of them having to constantly remember where did I place mine and where did he place his, knowing where your resources are at all times is so huge. But it's so much better for Salem right now because he doesn't need to worry as much. He has a two-stock lead, but kind of just cruising a little bit here. Amadeus has not been able to close this out. Amadeus really struggling to find, the, find this first stock and Salem already threatening with these up tilts. Salem opted to land with a Nikita, potentially to call out a spot that reach or something, but not going to get punished hard enough for it. And this B-reverse movement from Salem as well. Going to just run up again with that up to a three stock. Rather convincing coming in from Salem over there. Yeah, 180%, 186%, almost 190. Salem definitely making uh, a lot of mileage out of those stocks. Mm -hmm. um, Amadeus having a bit of a hard time. He definitely... I don't know. I don't know, how, like, really, what to say. It's I, a I difficult th when there's a lot of explosions going around. I think it's for what Amadeus needs to do, um, the few, the strengths that he had at the moments that he did were when he was up close boxing with Salem. Yeah. Uh, I think a smaller stage would probably work much better for him. Yeah. We might see something like, uh, oh yeah, Yoshi's Brawl is legal. We could be uh, potentially Smashville as well. That center stage platform control. Salem was doing much better in the long game. Yeah. He's good at the up close boxing game, but I think Amadeus, to be more comfortable, should go for something like that. Instead, we're going to see Town and City for potential FD layout as well and yeah. survive a little bit longer off the top. Yeah, it's definitely seeming like the close quarter combat. It's leaning a little bit in oh. Amadeus' favor. He can definitely get the damage, but he's yet to find the confirms. I forgot okay. about this. He this did, is different. He did say that he is this a is Koshik main. Um, so he's actually pulling it out after way that matchup wins. Like, I wasn't feeling good enough with it. And these new patches, this is really the first Sheik that we've seen uh, here today in yeah. this bracket. Yeah, actually, the uh, Sheik changes, particularly the forward air buff, it has mm -hmm. a, a bigger hitbox uh, in front of it. Uh, really good for Sheik, especially because yep. now her out of shield fair becomes a much more potent option, yeah, whereas as before tool. it would miss and a you lot. See, he's really cruising right now, trying to read that option there. Going for the Nair on the ledge. Oh, oh my god, the, the, Woo! <laughs> the courage, we'll yeah. say, uh, from Salem there to throw the out that fourth match. 85% on Salem here. And a, a big thing for Amadeus as well. For one, he could just play this long game with these needles. He doesn't need to commit uh, because the needles got changed as well. But also, 
this bouncing fish calls on ciphers. If Salmon has to go low, he could potentially catch him with one of these uh, bouncing fishes and take the stock relatively easy compared to the last game. So, I mean, I, I got to respect this switch to Sheik a lot because as you were saying, uh, Amadeus was winning the up-close quarter situations. What a conversion. Unbelievably. Ooh, that's, I, I'm actually mad for him. That didn't kill because that was so clean. Was Not so going nice. to get him with the bouncing fish as well, but now this is starting to rack back up. But every time, absolutely necessary, is that $11.15 donation. Thank you so much for continuing to contribute towards this overall goal that we are here climbing ever so slowly to that 5K yeah. and closer to that 10K goal. And this is what I was just about to talk about, uh, Ajax. It, it's a really scary situation because despite how much percent uh, Amadeus can rack up, it's hard for her to get those kills. Yes. And she's so light, dies super early to those up tilts. Nonetheless, he's able to bring it back. We're down to two stocks apiece here. Yeah, for a character who's used to blowing himself up and taking three, four, five percent every once in a while to fight a character that's also just doing that on regular strings, Salem doesn't need to be too worried about that too much. But these strings coming from Amadeus are looking so crisp. And I like the fact he's establishing pressure on Salem much better than before. The holy, so scary, man. my goodness, like so scary. The, the courage is flying free everywhere. <laughs> Amadeus going straight at that forward smash. Yeah, I mean, it was a bit of a worthwhile play for Amadeus considering the uh, startup on the forward smash is um, pretty slow. But yeah. I mean, if it, if it if he let it rip a little bit earlier. That thing kills so incredibly early. But you see as well, just the stoic passive play from Salem, even though he's taking a lot of these hits, gets called out on the jump, even with the reverse hit, that bouncing fish not gonna kill just yet. But Salem hasn't really had too many times where he's had to worry because like you said, wow, he's gonna die off the top that up till after all the work that Amadeus did. It works so in favor of Salem for the kills. Yeah, man, and it's, it's coming down to what we were just talking about. It's, he can get the damage, but can he get those KOs before he's in the danger zone himself? And yeah. INT Paladin, we can continue. another $10 donation. The MVP of the day, INT yeah. Paladin, continuing to drop these $10 donos for our stream here on this charity event. Thank you so much for contributing. I believe you probably contributed more than 40, but since we've been here, it's been 40, and we're going to catch that swift kick from that bouncing uh, fish. It's looking so much better for Amadeus from a three stock down to his last stock. Yeah, keeping himself alive in this game. He's starting to make up this deficit a little bit. He's at 89% though. Uh, with how light Sheik is, an up tilt may do the trick and you can see Salem actually fishing for it. Mm -hmm. And Amadeus running in confidently with all these conversions. I can really pick it up and not trying to sneak out that high recovery but forgetting where he the C4 was. Not about the C4 and he tried to land on him with that back air. Had that C4 not been there, mm -hmm. would have been successful. But Salem, one step ahead, baited yeah. him on it that reaction. It looked like he was trying he so he was trying so hard to get the drag down up here yeah. to potentially a down smash. But Amadeus was popping off like a little bit every time he got those stocks. I don't think we're seeing a switch off that whatsoever. That Sheik was looking amazing nice. by nice. comparison to the uh, Snake Ditto from before. Switching to the song of the day there. Uh, Amadeus is relatively cultured, by the way. He was talking about the songs he listens to. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, some of them, including with it. Suavemente. Oh, okay. Elipipe, Let's go. La Luna. Uh, <laughs> eh, <laughs> La Luna, go. yeah. I'm sorry. I'm getting, getting a little <laughs> off track here. But he was, uh, he, he picks different songs to uh, control his tempo and mood. And some people need that. Uh, for him, with the Sheik, he might be going with something that's a little bit more, uh, like, you see he's bouncing around right now. Something to get him amped up because Base, he's got to stay in Salem's for face. Sure, yeah. But Salem? Look at the confidence in his uh, in Salem right now. Not even sweating a bit from this nice, two com comfortable 2-0 lead he yeah, has here. Absor absolutely massive lead that he has. He definitely has room to play around in this game. Slow down the pace or play as aggressive as he wants to. Mm -hmm. And you see there, even when he gets hit and pressured, he's committed. Like, all right, look, I'll take a few more percent. Cool, I'm going to reset. Like, it's about Amadeus, how long he can he continue to hold that pressure. Okay. Right, Salem eight. retreating back to the corner here, jumping onto this platform, tossing a few grenades. Um, really great way to get himself like out of the corner, actually, like back himself in, out into yeah. the corner, but actually like I'm throwing stuff at you. So. Exactly, because of the fact that he has the emergency escape button in those grenades. Yeah. It's like Amadeus has to commit and, and committing to that dare, but luckily not getting punished. However, still getting crossed up with that back air. What's the option to get by Nikita? Gonna get himself back on stage. Oh, you can tell Salem is looking for that up tilt right about now. And you see, I like the fact that Amadeus is committed. Oh, I forgot all about the fact that the dash cancel F tilt is such a good zone breaking tool as well. Uh, you see Amadeus going for those combo starters to get in because of it. 
However, Alt Tilt, yeah, he's fishing for that Alt Tilt hard. He knows the moment he commits to a jump, he will be going soaring. And you can see Amadeus is trying to stay tricky with his movement, using the B-reverse needles uh, in neutral to try to bait out a reaction from Salem. And we got that grape soda for $3. You know what? That I like how canon that is because you could probably get like a nice big bottle of grape soda for $3. Yeah, for three but bucks. instead of getting the grape soda, it decided to contribute that towards a great cause. And thank you so much for continuing to Appreciate the it. sacrifice. You're helping out a great cause. Right now, dead even on stocks. Percent relatively close as well. Trying to go up the fair to push off the keto is a good idea, but unfortunately for him, it lingered a little bit too long. Yeah, I mean, they did uh, say they nerfed that Nikita hitbox, but in that situation, it definitely didn't look like it. Still mm -hmm. successfully finding that stock, beating out the forwarder from Amadeus, who's going to be dropping the stock here. Yeah, now we're, in, now we're in Sheik Syndrome territory, like you were talking yeah. about earlier, with especially with the higher ceiling. I mean, he's going to die to an up there off top, yeah. but he has to chase down Salem. And Salem's going to take full advantage of that as Smash beats, Smash beats Street Fighter Five. Don't at me, 420. Woo! It is lit, man, and we're going to keep those donations coming from the Smash side of I things, I mean, we I'm definitely sure. won in the Wii Boxing, that's for sure. <laughs> and in Jenga, in a couple other ones, and, just and saying. I, I think Tetris, too, so. Uh, we won't talk about the Tetris. Uh, uh, <laughs> Tetris was a mess for everyone. That, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> look, James Chen is a world champion um, uh, caster for that, yeah. and I saw personal pain on him, but we're going to be seeing some <laughs> personal pain on Salem's face, finally losing that first stock coming in from Amadeus. Yeah, Amadeus is trailing by quite a, a substantial amount, but both players on the same stock to a piece right here. I yeah, see. Now this is this is where Amadeus needs to succeed. He needs to establish these ledge traps. He hasn't been able to really keep Salem buried in the corner, and Salem's just been running back kind of for free for a, uh, like for the most part. Okay, bouncing fish back to the ledge, of, of successfully avoiding Nikita. Wow, beautiful. I mean, that was such a scary situation. He didn't have enough time to get the grapples he needed to get him above That was an excellent call from Salem, too, because it's like, all right, look, if I whip this dash attack, I'm not going to take too much. But what we are going to take is this donation coming in from another Yo, INT Paladin oh donation, 1065, Let's increasing go. it this time, bringing it up a little bit extra. We appreciate You are the MVP for this block, man. We appreciate you so much for continuing to I don't, drop I don't donations. Think, I don't think there's anyone out there who can beat this man right now. Yeah, can anybody uh, match if, INT if, Paladin? If you can prove me wrong, please head over to the Smash GG shop, get yourself some cool gear, and support the cause all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what? Well, Whoever you are, we appreciate you so much continuing to drop these donations to this great stream that we have going. That up air putting himself in good position in Salem to try and drag on that damage, but Amadeus going back, reserving to those needles. What's the call? He had the right separate call, and now he puts himself on the board again. Popping off a little bit. He's still in this, down 2-0, but he's been slowly bringing this back. Okay, Amadeus here he gets caught up by these forward tilts from Salem. Salem setting up the ledge traps, grenades, and up smashes coming out. Yeah, there was pretty much nowhere to go, and Salem now in a comfortable position now with Amadeus buried in the corner. Woo! And just knowing, seeing he repeatedly jumping for those needles, like, all right, cool, you want to do that? Nice, I'm going to kick you in the face. The Pilates, the stretches coming in for Snake. Oh, man, Snake? Snake? I don't know how he's so limber. You know how he can say limber? Probably attending. The Goodwill Foundation, old fitness the center, fitness which you are center. continuing to donate to here at this event. Every single dollar goes towards a great cause. And as you get to see, more games. We have yet another one coming up next. We have Larry Lair currently sitting down. Uh, I He went down to Mars before and in a very, yes. very close. tight set. Very close game five down to the wire. In fact, we are actually going to go on a short break. I'm sure we're going to get so, two new casters. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the show thus far and yes. continue to enjoy the show.